Hey folks, Justin here. In the last video, we looked at how to use DevOps pipelines to move the portal configuration from our source to target via version control. In this video, we're going to look at how to do the same for our own data, in this case, reference data. But it could be any data that's stored in Dynamics or uh, CDS. So if we cast our mind back to what we did in the last video, and if you haven't seen it, please take this opportunity to have a look. Our, dev, our build pipeline had a second job in, in it that did the portal configuration. And the main piece was the export configuration migration data task. Now, what told it how to get the information out of the source was an XML file, which in this case we stored in the repo. So if we have a look in the repo, under our CDS data, under schemas, here's the XML file that we downloaded from the Microsoft site that contained all of the information about which entities and fields to extract out of the source for the portal configuration. So what we want to do is do the same thing for our own data. So if we have a look in our Dynamics instance in this case, what I'm going to do is take out the postcode data, which is our fictitious reference data in this case. Now, to do that, we're going to use Microsoft tools. Now, the main one that we're going to use is the configuration migration utility. That's going to be able to create our XML file, the equivalent of what we use for the portal configuration. Now, I'll put a link to this down below. This site gives you instructions on, on how to uh, get the tools. The slight difference I make to that, if we have a look at what I've done for mine, is in this case under my C drive, under uh, development, under D365, I've created a PS1 file, which is, which is a PowerShell file. So if we have a look at that, it opens up in Notepad. So the contents of this is just down here. So on this page, if you just hit the copy, then use Notepad and paste the contents of from that website into the file. You can call it whatever you like, it just needs to be a .ps1. Now, when you run that, by right-clicking and saying run with PowerShell, that will do all it needs to do to go off to the Microsoft site and grab all the relevant tools and put them in a folder for you. So what it's going to do is put them under this tools folder. All right. The main, the one that we're after in this case is the configuration migration utility, which is in this folder here. And it's called the data migration utility.exe. So we'll run that. We'll choose in this case to create the schema, which is going to be our XML file. Uh, we'll need to give it credentials for our, our instance. All right, we log in. It's going to go off into our instance and get all of the solutions that are in there. So in this case, I've got a JM custom solution. And then it brings back the entities. In this case, there's just the one entity. For once you select which entity, and you can uh, grab multiple entities as part of the same uh, XML file. For each entity, we choose what we want to bring as far as fields go. Now, if I do add entity, it's going to grab the whole lot, but I'm not interested in the created on and created by in this case. I only want the city and the postcode itself and the ID. Now by bringing the ID, it's going to maintain the same GUID across all the environments, which is really handy when you're using it as lookups, etc. maybe in workflows or something, because it's going to maintain the same value everywhere. So we click, click on add fields. That's going to give us the fields that we've chosen. Now, as of December 2019, they added a really nice feature into this tool to allow you to filter the records that are coming out of the source. So before that, you would have to just grab everything. 
Now, if we look at the uh, data that's in here, I want to grab the capital cities, which end in zero. Now, nicely, if we grab, I go into the advanced find, we can actually get the filter information that we need from the advanced find. If you're good at fetch XML, you can write it manually if you like. So I'm just going to grab out where the postcode itself ends with double zero. So in this case, if we run it, we can see we've filtered out the records that we don't want. So we go back to advanced find. We'll say I want to download the fetch XML. Now, if we click on that, the bit that we want from this is the actual filter piece here. Unfortunately, it's going to grab the minus. Well, unless we can skillfully. No, it's going to always include that. But that's all right. We just after that filter piece, we don't want the whole lot. So we'll come back to our tool. Now, we need to go up to the tools menu and configure the import settings. So here's our entity and down here, we can actually add the fetch XML and here it's saying input the fetch XML filter. So it only wants the filter part. Unfortunately, it spaces it out and we need to get rid of that minus sign that it's put up there. If you've got any errors, it just won't allow you to uh, continue. So now it's, it's switched that on. I can save that. So that's now going to filter the rows of information as well as the entities, which is really, really handy. All right. Now, you can actually use this tool to manually export and import if you want to. Um, so the main thing that we want to do here is save this schema. All right. So I'll just put it in here and we'll just call this the postcodes.xml. All right, so now we've got the XML file. Now, as I say, if, if I wanted to in this tool, I could do the export, which would we could then log in, uh, select that XML file, tell it where we want to store the data and store it. Then we go to our target, same thing, select the data file, import, away you go. But we don't want to do things manually. That's why we're in the DevOps world. So now what we want to do is come back to our schemas and we're going to grab the XML file. Now, if I get all these lined up correctly, all right? So by dragging it into the right spot, it's going to let me commit that file. And there's our postcodes.xml. That's all we need to do. The rest of it's exactly the same as the portal. And in fact, if we go over, to our pipeline here, we can swap this and we can see here, I can select the XML file that we just created, the postcodes. And in this case, we'll call this the postcode zip file. And I'm gonna copy that because I need the same file over in here and reference data oops into there so by swapping those over using a different xml file and the relevant changes in here we should be able to get those postcodes into that into version control so i'm going to run that and then come back and have a look at the results Okay, so that runs successfully. We can see in our repo here, under our reference data, that a folder that got created under extracted, we've got the relevant pieces of information that contain the extracted data. And if we look under the JM postcode data XML file, we can see in here the, the actual data that got exported. So then likewise, exactly as we did with the portal config, we could use a release pipeline to load that into our target as well. So now we've seen how to do our own data, in this case, the reference data, out of our source 
into version control and to our target. So hopefully that's been useful. I really appreciate your like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.